Hello, Prim friends. So this is a shop that is new to me. I have not been here before in this location. We are now at the Wooden Horse Primitives, Force 371 State Route 39 in Millersburg, Ohio. So it's just outside of the town of Berlin and you might have seen if if you watch their posts on Facebook you may have seen that they had a water leak here um, they were telling me that the building that they're in was originally um, an Amish building and so there was no um, no power in this one but they've had to have new ceiling area put in where this water leak took took the ceiling out and did did quite some damage so um, but they are coming back strong and uh, the shop is just lovely they are they try very hard to have predominantly all US made products um, with the exception of the florals and um, there may be a couple other little things and I don't recall what those were but for the most part they are US made and I'll show you in the other room there are some pieces that are made using Keim lumber which is a, a local lumber yard and then um, wool from a shop that's just right next door love that table but if you've watched our channel then you also know that I am a big fan of tiger maple beautiful and it is a mixture of antiques and uh, newly made crafted pieces Baskets are wonderful. I love that shelf back there in the corner. They have beautiful light fixtures here as well for sale. So if you are in this area, um, this is definitely a neat spot to, to stop. A couple of really neat chairs. And these butter press. It's a wheat, a wheat design. A few more there, and a neat little wooden wooden bowl. Oh, look at the sweet bunny. There's a nice bowl rack there too. And this nice big room here. Love those light fixtures. Oh, their crocs are gorgeous. Pretty little cupboard. Oh, here are those wool pieces. Rex was telling me the wooden back the wood comes from time lumber and the wool from the little I think it's the plaid sheep that's right next door oh that's neat it looks like it's on a hind stretcher an old an old board there. Beautiful piece. And the tin lighting is just gorgeous. Just, I've said before, you you really can change the look of a room so much when you put the correct lighting in. Correct meaning the correct period of time. That is a beautiful corner cabinet. I really like to see when the shelves meet the crossbars. So 
it's just something that I like to um, I like to see in the pieces when they're when they are that way. I love that special decorative area there at the bottom. The room is so so beautiful and so full that I've got to kind of step aside here for you to see. Look at that stack of little trunks from all different sizes. Beautiful. And again, more of the antique pieces mixed with the new. Looks like maybe a mule chest with that drawer at the bottom. Again, more of those sweet pieces of art, handmade. Another nice corner cabinet. And so when you come in the doors, um, the entrance is actually sort of behind me. Actually, behind me this way, and we'll see how much more of this shop there is so it's definitely one that's one that you can explore lots and lots to see here oh how sweet is she really cute and the footstools that's a tiger maple footstool really sweet look at all the the wax eggs with the cinnamon coating. Oh, nice little small chandelier there, the plug-in kind, so if you don't want to hardwire it. It looks like it is a hardwired one and they have it lit there so you can see it. That'd be sweet over a uh, over a kitchen sink, maybe. And then they're more beautiful of the larger ones. Nice mirror, or goodness, what am I thinking? Nice wreath here with the, the uh, looks like lamb's, lamb's ear plant there. And some redware and a bunch of the white tulips. Pretty. I love the standing. I know I was just seeing online somebody was looking for the standing tin light fixture. Huh. And here's one right here. They do ship. So if you are interested in something that you see here, um, the furniture is difficult, of course, to ship, but if you see something of the of the smaller pieces that you're interested in, that is definitely doable. Here we'll start. This is the entrance area. So when you first walk in, you'll see these lovely pieces, a whole scoop. You can get your potpourri by the scoop there, that's fun. Or by the bag. Wow, oh, it smells wonderful here. Of course, with those lovely candles. So many beautiful scents. I almost said flavors. New England buttery. Apple dumpling, blackberry jam, clove, pilgrim pie, orange blossom. Suddenly makes me hungry. <laughs> More here, cranberry spice. These are like the little melts. Just a very large supply. 
with the little tin dishes too for under your candles if you want. Mm -hmm. Loose ones there. Snickerdoodle. Oh, there's something with a wonderful scent right here. Love those little um, clay pot there with the, what looks like a lavender plant. All right, so what a beautiful shop. They are having a covered porch put on more of the shop here, and there will be two additional rooms that will be finished and decked out um, probably within the next two weeks, Rex said. So definitely a spot to check out if you are coming down to Berlin or Millersburg, if you're looking for antiques. And like I said before, they do ship. And I always like to say that because I know so many of you are watching from from afar so more information will be in the description below and take care everyone and we'll see you in the next one